Silver has now broken above $28 and continues to rise. All those doubters and naysayers have seemed to suddenly just disappear. And with tensions rising in the Middle East, one of the most important elections in human history quickly approaching, and more wars happening around the world that I can count on one hand, on top of a financial system that's on the brink of collapse, it's not very surprising when I've always said that silver stackers will eventually and inevitably get the last laugh. This week's deals from Miles Franklin are one ounce 2024 Eagles 550 over spot. We also have 90% constitutional silver dimes and quarters 275 over spot and 10th ounce gold eagles $51 over melt we have a massive inventory all great prices text email or call slayer at milesfranklin.com i'd be happy to help and now let's get into the video welcome back if you want to know what's happening around the world on a daily basis and how that affects the price of silver well you've come to the right place so make sure you click subscribe we're going to be breaking down two very important articles this one is titled silver why this may be the decade's most important time window and then we will be going over another article five must see charts that visualize the epic undervaluation in the gold and silver market so this is going to be some good stuff i briefly skimmed through both articles and they will not let you down this is going to be an incredible video watch till the end both articles are just as good and i definitely saved the best for last as we have some other stuff to talk about deeper in the video so with that that said let's just let's talk silver a silver's current three month time window might become the most important one this decade that's because the long-term bullish reversal was complete on april 5th 2024 and if you guys don't know what happened silver has a 31 year cup and handle pattern actually a 31 year cup and an 11 year handle it is something that nobody's ever seen. They even said, among thousands of charts we continuously track, there is one that truly stands out. The monthly silver price chart is absolutely stunning. After 828 days, the bullish reversal on silver's price chart is complete. If silver continues to move higher, it will be the ultimate secular bullish breakout confirmation, which will come with multi-year implications. And guess what? Since the time of this article coming out two days ago, silver has broken above and now it is at $28.17. So they look around at a broad set of data points to understand the silver market. Most of the times our contrarian view differs from mainstream media, which they love by the way. To illustrate this, we turned very bullish on silver in February, March, while mainstream media was not paying attention to it. And there was one exception, which I'm sure is probably the CNBC news article. Uh, but silver bullish reversals now complete 99 percent of analysts focus on price only the silver chart like any other chart has two axes by focusing on price analysis only analysts ignore 50 percent of the insights that silver charts have to offer it gets really interesting once the timeline analysis the x-axis is included in silver's analysis note we always look at the gold and silver charts from a price plus timeline perspective to ensure we maximize the insights out of the charts stated differently we make a silver price analysis meaningful there is a snippet from our most recent gold and silver market report which is detailed in must read analysis for any gold or silver investor they pointed out silver has set a secondary high on february 21st so in essence we can conclude that silver's bullish reversal is now complete this confirms our view that if if there was a great time for silver to stage a breakout it would be now silver's most important three month cycle of this decade while the above timeline analysis on the silver chart reveals a very important insight it should be combined with additional timeline readings more specifically we always think 
analyze the price of silver and gold against their three-month cycles. Below is the three-month cycle chart for silver. Here's the key takeaway, just to speed things up. The three-month cycle chart suggests that silver has another seven weeks in this bullish cycle. Wow, that is insane. So they're saying this might happen for another seven weeks. And remember, this article came out two days ago, two days ago, April 7th. This view of the chart suggests that if there was a great time for silver to stage a breakout, it would be now. Again, this is not the only silver chart that stands out. There is another secular timeline view of silver that is equally more important and made available in our pre... Okay, I don't want to push their premium stuff, but... They're probably mentioning the 31 year cup and handle that I've shown in my last video. So silver's undervaluation might, might not last for much longer. One of the important questions that silver investors are asking is how high silver may move. They did post another article related the 50 year silver price chart. It's really simple in our view. The gold to silver price ratio is one of the most useful ways to understand the upside potential in the price of silver. As seen below, silver is hugely undervalued relative to gold. This undervaluation may come to an end within this current three-month cycle. Best case, silver moves to $50 around the start of summer 2024. The prerequisite for this to happen, then the gold to silver ratio should drop below 65 to 1 which naturally, well, not naturally, but I guess uh, an average ratio in modern times is 70 to 1, maybe 75 to 1. But historically, it's around 16 to 1. We actually got up to 125 to 1 in 2020, early 2020, around March. But now it's dropped back down, and as it continues to drop, silver is going to continue to outperform gold. Let's dive into the second article now because that one covered a lot. I really like the points they brought up, but there's a lot more to talk about. Five must-see charts that visualize the epic undervaluation in the gold and silver market. The gold price rally is hiding the epic undervaluation of silver, gold miners and silver miners. And yeah, that's a really good point. Everyone focusing on gold going so high that there's, there's two takeaways from that. Gold is exploding, but that also means silver isn't exploding and silver always follows gold fifty dollars and right now it's sitting around 28 so it's a little more we still have a lot of room to run silver has a lot of legs and like they say we believe a rebalancing move is underway and it always it has to the gold to silver ratio has to come back down especially with silver's other other things that it has going for it so silver should rise and the time is now as explained in um the article we just covered. So gold and silver miners, hugely undervalued. The rally should have legs. We visualize the epic undervaluation of silver, gold miners, and silver miners with these five charts. One, silver has a tremendous upside potential. Very often, we look at long-term charts. Think the 50-year chart. However, those long-term charts aren't actionable. They also may take many years until they develop a trend. The 15-year silver chart makes it very clear, though. Silver is eager to stage a breakout. It might do so in this current cycle. Below is the monthly silver price chart. There's a very bullish cup and handle formation. This was the 31-year cup and the 11-year handle that I was talking about. That is tremendously powerful. That's tremendously powerful. You also have gold and gold miners didn't even break out yet. Gold miners rallied in recent weeks. If the bigger scheme of things is, is the recent rally, it is a non-event. That's a really good point. In the bigger scheme of things, the recent rally is a non-event. Fireworks will start once the secular breakout will be confirmed. The HUI gold mining index says it all. Uh, once above 300 points, gold miners will be on fire with the rally of recent weeks representing a warning up period. You also have the Dow Jones or gold miners to the Dow Jones, epic quadruple bottom. Then you have silver miners priced in silver and epic bottom. And that's another thing you got to remember is if silver's at $28 and it's comfortably been sitting around $26 to $27 for a while, it's, it's stabilizing at these prices, meaning the likelihood of us seeing $22 silver again is something of the past unless... I mean, unless something very dramatic happens, but even if anything dramatic happens in today's economy, it's usually going to be bullish for silver. Things are only getting worse, not better. And even if things were getting better, that would still benefit silver because a booming economy also means more solar panels, more technology, which silver is used for. 
So really, it would only be gold that's that's being affected in a in a negative way if the economy starts progressing, which, you know, you already know the answer to that question or the outcome of that answer. Five silver ETFs, potential catalyst for the long way to short squeeze. I'm not going to be pushing ETFs. I'm just going to talk about physical silver because that is the metal itself. Remember, folks, if you can't hold it, you don't own it. We could also talk a little bit about what happened to silver's price yesterday. This came out yesterday from investing.com. Silver prices surged due to Middle East tensions and hopes for monetary easing. So silver closed, or the, I guess it closed at up 1%, primarily driven by escalating tensions in the Middle East and expectations of future monetary easing. However, the upside momentum was curbed as optimism was tempered by a robust U.S. jobs report, which exceeded market forecasts. The addition of, of 303,000 jobs in March, coupled with a decline in the unemployment rate and strong wage growth, has diminished expectations of imminent rate cuts by the Federal Reserve. Consequently, market sentiments have shifted, with bets for a June rate reduction falling to approximately 55%. Federal Reserve's efforts to achieve its 2% inflation target, as highlighted by Chicago Federal Reserve President Austin Goolsbee, this factor, along with elevated interest rates, has dampened the appeal of non-yielding assets like silver. Despite short-term fluctuations, the Silver Institute remains optimistic about the metal's prospects in 2024, anticipating prices to potentially reach 10-year highs, meaning above $30 which it's already poking towards. The total global demand is expected to reach 1.2 billion, marking the second highest year on record, which it's probably going to be above that actually, even if the numbers that are stated aren't true. Because the Silver Institute, which by the way, silver did reach 1.21 billion ounces last year with uh, record-breaking supply deficits the past couple of years, and they are uh, foreseeing records to be broken year after year for the foreseeable future with the supply diminishing but demand exploding. But not only that, the Silver Institute doesn't incorporate a lot of important sectors in terms of silver's demand. If it's 1.2 billion ounces, it's probably more like 1.4, 1.5 billion because the Silver Institute doesn't incorporate military and aerospace in their numbers. Well, there is a lot of silver that's used in military. There's 500 ounces of silver in one Tomahawk missile. There's around 200 ounces per missile. That's the average, some more, some less. It's around 200 ounces. And we're I mean, how many missiles do you think, you know, around the world we've had? I mean, that's why the U.S. Defense Department raided our silver stockpiles. But it's not just missiles, it's satellites, drones. Um, you have space equipment and aerospace, satellites. It's used for everything. And they don't incorporate any of those numbers in their findings when they post that, which is even scarier. It's even crazier. So, yeah. Anyways, um, you know, I hope you guys have a better idea now of how bullish silver truly is and where the price truly can go. Don't have an unrealistic expectation of silver hitting $100 in the next three or four months, because even if that did happen, that's way too quick, the price wouldn't have time to stabilize and then it would probably crash, or would crash actually, usually lower than where it even started in the first place. You need it to slowly and gradually build as prices can stabilize at 28, stabilize at 35, stabilize at 42 to 50s. There's going to be a lot of very massive spikes as, let's say, silver breaks above 30 is probably going to climb to 40 shortly after because that's the last time we saw 30 plus dollar silver was on its way to $50 in 2011. So there's going to be a lot of hype. Your friends, family, neighbor, dog, cat, squirrel in the backyard, all is going to be talking about silver. It's going to go into overbought territory, then it has to correct back down, a pullback happens, then everyone freaks out and they panic sell. They, they buy up high and then they see the price drop from the pullback, not knowing it's just a pullback, which is natural, which has to happen, then they sell it right away, losing bunch, a ton of money. But regardless, over time, it has to be a gradual incline. And that's where prices can stabilize. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. I thought these were some great articles. 
Um, this first one, going over silver, why this may be the decade's most important time window. The three month, ti uh, the three month time window might be the most important of this decade. And the five must see, uh, must see charts that visualize epic undervaluation in the gold and silver market. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap this video up here, folks. Remember, you guys can purchase silver from me or gold or platinum if you want. Um, just buy from somewhere safe. You know, I got you guys great prices, great deals, um, great customer service. You can call me, text me, uh, you know, just buy from somewhere that's safe, that has, that has good prices that you trust. And I can offer that. Um, and also, if you guys wanted to subscribe, go enter my giveaway video because I'll be announcing the winners in the next two weeks. You do not want to miss that either. Thanks for tuning in. This was Silver Slayer. I will see you guys later today or tomorrow. Peace.